MacGyver ain't got nothing on us. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In today's installment, we're counting down the five most fascinating and kind of disturbing facts about do it yourself weaponry. Stop, slash, or intimidate your enemy. This is what makes the hidden blade so awesome. Watch Mojo recommends that you do not build any of the weapons in this video at home. We do not condone real life violence. Don't hit back! No violence! Number five. In prison, anything can become a weapon. They took a toothbrush to put a razor at the end. From shivs made out of typewriter parts to razor blade whips to iron knuckles made from workshop saws. When people have enough time, they can turn anything into a weapon. Melted chocolate can become napalm and powdered creamers can be used as fuel for flamethrowers. In one instance, a man broke out of a St. Louis prison with a set of jail-made nunchucks that he built from bedsheets and pieces of a chair. He managed to fight off at least 12 prison guards with his makeshift ninja gear. Then he climbed two barbed wire fences to escape the correctional facility. Unfortunately for him, he was recaptured a few days later, but still, major shinobi props. Your ninja skills are reaching their peak. Number four, airport security can't stop someone from building a gun. A security expert named Evan Booth can make crossbows, blowguns, spiked clubs, suitcase bombs, and even a functioning gun from just items that are sold in airports after the security check. He makes videos that give detailed descriptions of how to make these deadly DIY weapons and puts them on the internet, because what harm could come from that? Some critics have accused him of helping terrorists and ne'er-do-wells, but Booth believes that releasing this information will help keep security personnel informed. Hopefully this, this work will just serve as good solid information for people who do make those decisions to make better decisions. Number three, Americans can legally make untraceable guns at home. Because now it is very easy and completely legal to make a firearm right in the comfort of your own home. The American government doesn't regulate homemade guns. The only part of a gun that is regulated is the receiver, which is where the serial number goes. The problem is that receivers that are less than 80% complete aren't receivers under American law. This piece here is what's called the receiver. It starts out as a flat piece of metal, and the action of bending it into the shape that you see now is what legally makes us a firearm. People can legally sell kits and parts to build untraceable guns. One company has started to sell a machine called the Ghost Gunner, which is basically a plug-and-play factory for completing receivers. An increasing number of homemade guns are being found at crime scenes, and almost 10% of guns confiscated from Mexican cartels are homemade guns. And oh yeah, fully functional firearms can now be made from 3D printers as well. Number two, sometimes homemade weapons go wrong. Yes, Master Trackstar, it's a homemade explosive device. A bomb? In other words, don't try this at home. Seriously, we can't stress that enough. It's dangerous to make your own weapons and sometimes they go wrong. Sometimes homemade guns and tasers explode. Wow, this is wild. You can see how it far. Sometimes homemade crossbows backfire. Sometimes you accidentally shoot your eye out with a Red Rider BB gun. Oh my God, I shot my eye out. Accidents happen, and one misplaced pin or loose wire can turn a childhood prank into a tragedy. In Ohio, there were three teenage boys who nearly died from accidentally inhaling darts sucked out of homemade dart guns, necessitating surgery to remove darts from their airways. Okay, that just sounds like idiots being idiots. But really, unless you're fighting a war, don't all homemade weapons kind of sound like that? Just a little bit? <laughs> Number one, homemade tanks are used in the fight against ISIS. When lives are on the line, people need to be creative and innovative or else. This often happens in war zones, and the civil war in Syria isn't an exception. Kurdish militants have had to hand build their own tanks in the fight against ISIS and they have managed to create some weird and wonderful armored vehicles. This APC has a 50 caliber Dushka machine gun. Many of which are made from modified bulldozers and other industrial vehicles. These might not be as effective as factory built tanks, but they certainly are better than nothing, and they show incredible ingenuity. Similarly, the Free Syrian Army has been using a homemade projectile they call the Hell Cannon to shoot explosives made from propane cylinders. Rebels are using the Hell Cannon to remind Damascus and Islamic State militants that while they may be on the defensive, they are far from defeated. So what do you think? This is serious, this is real. This is the big league, this is not juvenile detention. Are homemade arms just harmless fun or unnecessary danger? 
For more do-it-yourself top 10s and sure to backfire top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. See you around. Bye. Later.